We'll see what happens here. Not going to be able to get away with some of the combos that you were using early on against a, like a Ridley or like a Bowser. But I mean, it is Sora, though. Yeah. He's going to get away with some stuff. You're still going to get away with some stuff. Yeah. Sora is a criminal. I don't care how happy he is. I can't believe Disney endorses this man. I endorse him. Okay. It is what it is. How could you, uh, I might be evil. Yeah. Interesting thing here is actually going to be Wolf Gun. Uh, it's going to force Swag Fox into the air on his approaches a lot, which is where he already wants to be. But it's going to make it more predictable for Yams to deal with for Swag Fox's approaches. Gun is always an interesting move for Wolf. Also, something to keep in mind, if you are Wolf, you do have the reflector as well. Yeah. You see Sora starting to abuse those projectiles. Ooh, not quite on the character knowledge there. Sora can definitely hit you through stages. I think almost all of them. Ooh. Got that knowledge, though. <laughs> nice two frame. <laughs> nice two frame. Able to take the first stock is Yams. Yams looking pretty good here. Again, the winner just goes into winner's final. Ooh, good Yams. Escape. Good escape using the side B to get away from that. Oh, that's going to be exploitable for sure. All right, um, yeah, good comp there. I got it. Uh, <laughs> I will be leaving you. I have to go play my top eight qualifier against Cosmo. All right. Bye, chat. And good, now you have Harvest. Good luck, General Pigeon. Get the victory. As he said, as he said, he's going to be taking on Cosmo and losers. Pretty much winner of that's going to be heading over to top eight. These two men have already qualified for top eight. Yams and Swag Fox. Yams has been doing very well so far with his Wolf. There goes the upbeat, and then he's going to take the first stock away from Yams. But as you said, Yams has looked pretty good with Wolf so far. And again, this is a player that is one of the top Ganondorfs in Michigan, one of the top Ganondorfs in the country, rather. One of the top Ganondorfs in the world, but he's been trying to get away from Ganondorf because, as we all know, Ganondorf isn't a great character. Wolf is considered a, lot, a great character by a lot of people. Yep, a much better character, at least looking at advantage versus disadvantage. Wolf definitely has a clear advantage over Ganondorf, so Yams is trying something different here. Now, this isn't different for Yams because Yams has been using uh, Wolf for quite some time, but we've seen him go back and forth between Wolf and Ganondorf, and for a period of time he was sticking with Ganondorf, but it looks like he's going Wolf full time now. Uh, he's been having a few events. I think movement, his most recent movement event, he did use Wolf the entire bracket. Yep. Uh, right now, he's perhaps best known for his Ganondorf, as we saw in Let's Go Springfield 5, making top 20 at that event with Ganondorf, and people were absolutely excited about that. When you're taking on a Sora, a character that likes your character slow and likes them tall, like Ganondorf, Wolf is obviously the much better pick in this circumstance. Plus, all of those projectiles completely nullify with Wolf. Well, that stock is nullified and gone. Yam's able to take that cleanly with two stocks left. Yam's looking pretty good in game one. If you're going to game two, you are absolutely correct. When it comes to Sora, you, 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 we've, seen, we've seen this Sora go up against Ridley on stream. We've seen them go against uh, Bowser. You're not going to be able to get those as clean of combos with a character that's lower to the ground and not a heavy. So... Let's we'll see if Swag Fox can make any adjustments here going against a character that's not a heavy. All right, we are going into game two. We'll see if uh, Swag Fox can make any adjustments here. We're going to Hollow Bastion, which I believe was a, a stage that uh, Swag Fox has picked uh, prior to this match here. So uh, it's clearly a stage he's comfortable with. Yeah, he used it against uh, Ultra a couple of times as Bowser. I'm just looking back at Swag Fox's run so far. Of course, we just saw him take on Bowser in the last round. Earlier was General Pigeon, the Ridley player, and his round one was against a Pac-Man, Mega Man, and Walu Justin. So he has been having uh, some success taking on either heavies with a lot of those characters. Mega Man considered a heavier on the upper mid side. But... I gotta say though, he's really adjusted well in this game too against Yams. He's looking a lot better here at Hallow Bastion. Yams is trying to take that first stock. Both going for the reach there, but both of them not able to get it. But Yams able to get that up smash. That's not gonna be enough. But that back air is going to be enough. That's gonna take the first stock away from Swag Fox here. If you are Yams, 
You want to try and keep that momentum going. You do not want to lose that stock now. But if you are swipe past that is exactly what you're looking to do. Is take that first stock away. Just try and bring this game back. Now, Yams, he's a unique individual. Of course, he is represented by HFIO. If any of you guys have been following us since day one, we've been doing a lot of tournaments. Back in the house tournament format, Yams, I believe he's won like five HFIO tournaments, not a single one since we went public. And so far, this is his best showing. This could be his first opportunity to win a large public event. And we may not have any of the PRs, but let's be honest, there are still some killers in this field with the emerging Swag Fox, with Schlag, with Ultra, with Hydra, and with another kill by Yams. He's in full control in game number two. Yeah, Yams yeah, looking pretty good here. Looking to take this to game three, up 2-0. But we'll see what happens if Swag Fox can make any adjustments here. But so far, Yams is kind of continuing where he left off in that last stock here, and just stringing up attacks. Yams is dialed in right now. Yams going for the throw. Swipe Fox was trying to go for the Thunder Girl, but it did not work to their advantage here. And tried to go for the forward smash was Yams. Definitely going to finish this game. And very good. I was expecting him to do the side beat there, and I think Swag Fox would be prepared there as well with the counter. But he was smart enough to hold off and come in from the bottom to get back on stage. Yep, able, but able to get back to the stage is Swag Fox here. And we'll see how long he can stay onto the stage. Oh, there goes the. Not, oh, Yams yeah, able to barely, but get back onto the stage. Punish the up smash attempt from Swag Fox and does have Swag Fox at a disadvantage here. Swag Fox able to get back onto the stage. We were temporarily back in neutral, but Yams at a disadvantage there, and there goes the stock. Yams losing that stock, but still has one stock left here. Uh, Swag Fox at 150%. And there it is. Yeah, that's it. All right, so Yams is going to win that one. And we're going to go to game three, where this could potentially be Swag Fox's last game in winners. But we'll see if Swag Fox can again make any adjustments. We know he likes the Hollow Bastion stage. Are we going to stay at Hollow Bastion? It might be best at this point, after we just saw how it went on Hollow Bastion, maybe go for a PS2, maybe a town and city, maybe try and get as much ground as possible away. Battlefield's not a bad option as well to try and keep as much ground as possible away from Wolf. So this stage might play in his favor. Let's hope so. We can certainly hope so there. But it is going to be a change of pace here because Hollow Bastion, while Swag Fast did look better, it just wasn't enough. So Swag Fast maybe feels like this could be a better option for him here. Maybe those platforms will help. We'll see. And so far, I mean, Swag Fox off to a pretty good start. All right, so we have Swag Fox just trying to take this game to a game four here. We're trying to take this into a game four. But you have Yams that just wants to close this out as fast as possible here to go over into winner's finals. Swag Fox looking better here so far. Yeah, absolutely. What's going yeah. on, Slog? Yeah, TV out there doesn't seem to be working. Right now. Oh, I think uh, I think Harvest is trying to take care of that right now. I think somebody let him know. You got anything you want to see on the mic? Nah, no. Nah? Really. Okay, got you. How was it? Was that about the TV? Okay. All right, so we have Swag Fox here. Again, looking much better here. It has the lead here. Yeah, that two stocks. Yeah, I was checking out the bracket as well in a second. And right now, if everything goes perfectly in Yams' favor, he has yet to lose a game this tournament. He's won 2-0, 3-0, and right now he's up 2-0 in the winner semis. He's up 2-0, but Swag Fox looking to take that second stock away and hopefully changing that momentum. If you are Swag Fox, you want this to at least go to a game four. If you are Yams, you do not want to let that momentum go over. Because again, Swag Fox looking much better in game three than he has in the first two games. You have Swag Fox able to get back onto the stage here. You have Yams just trying to keep away. Oh, Yams able to use that side B to get out of the dash and hang on to the ledge. We're back in neutral here. I got to say, the stage change, being able to have this much distance has definitely helped uh, Swag Fox a lot in this game. Of course, still not in the realm. He's not ahead of this. He has some work to do, but that's going to help a lot right there. Yeah, that up smash is going to do it. And we see Yams losing so far, and this isn't something that we've seen him done in this set yet. So 
Very interesting spot if you are Swag Pop. Can you close out and take game three and send this over to a game four? Gams. She said, let's be honest here, though. The gap is very minimal, 148% to 45 in last stock. Although it is starting to widen, though, if he keeps on that momentum. Good fare, though. Now, one thing Swag Pops can do is take advantage of Gams. Um, lack of recovery when it comes to Wolf. That is something that you can take advantage of if you are Swag Fox because you have so many options when you are off stage here. There was the up B at 85%. This looks like something that could send us over. Oh my goodness. Let me stop there. Yams taking that second to last stock here. Can Yams take the momentum of taking that second stock and carry it over to this stock here? Can he make the comeback? It's looking like it watching Swag Fox. He's been hitting a uh, hit, attack, attack, attack. I don't see any shields. I don't see any grabs. He's playing a little frustrated right now. He needs to calm down if he wants to win this game. Ooh, when you see Swag Fox going for the up smash, but Wolf able to just stay on the top platform and avoid it all together. Now, again, we this is a stage that Swag Fox picks. Will that come back and bite him? We'll see. Yeah, there it is. Oh, and that's going to do it. That back there is going to do it. Now, again, this was a stage that Swag Fox picked. Uh, went for the up smash, but Wolf was able to get out of Dodge way. Yams is staying on that top platform, able to go back down and hit the back air, and that's going to do it. Yams has yet to lose a game here. Yams is going to win this set 3-0 and go over to winner's finals.